all right so in this session what we will do is we'll try to learn how to calculate squares of different numbers all right our first target is the numbers from 1 to 100 we have to find the squares of all the numbers from 1 to 100 right what we will do is we will divide the numbers into different categories okay now the first category of numbers would be so i'll write the heading here we are trying to find the squares okay now the first category of numbers is numbers ending in 1 Let's calculate the squares of numbers ending in 1. Suppose we have a number 31. How do we calculate squares of uh, square of 31? Let's do one thing. Separate 1 from the number. Take square of 1 as 1. Take square of 3 as 9. And in the middle, what you have to do is multiply this number other than 1. Whatever is left in the number other than 1, multiply it by 2. So this number multiply by 2. So 3 into 2 is 6. So the answer of this question or, or the square of 31 would be 9, 6, 1. All right. Let's take another example. Suppose we have to find square of 41. So 4 and 1, separate 1 from the number. Square of 1 is 1. Square of 4 is 16. So 1, you have to take square. The remaining number, you have to take square. And in the middle, whatever number is left other than 1, multiplied by 2. So it is 4 into 2, which is 8. So the answer of this question would be 1, 6, 8, 1. Let's take another example. Suppose we have to find square of 51. How do we do that? 51. Separate 1 from the number. Square of 1 is 1. Square of 5 is 25. And in the middle, we will have 5 into 2, which is 10. Now, this is the tricky part. We get 10. 5 into 2 is 10. Now, how do we write it? Let's see. 1 comes in the end. Out of this 10, only the one digit that is 0 comes here. The remaining 1 becomes carry forward to the next part. So, 1 goes to 25 and gets added. So, it becomes 2, 6, 0, 1. That is the square of 51. All right. Let's take another example. I'll remove this 31 from here. You can always pause the video and go back to the method once again. Let's take 61. What is the square of 61? For 1, we have 1. For 6, we have 36. And the and 6 multiplied by 2, we will get 12. So 2 comes here and 1 gets added to the next part as carry forward. That is 36. So 1 plus 36 is 37 and 2, 1. So 3, 7, 2, 1 is the square of 61. Let's take another number, 71. Suppose we have 71. For 1, we have 1. For 7, we have 49 in the beginning. And in the middle part will be 7 into 2. 7 into 2 will be 14. So 4 comes in this place. 1 gets added to the next part. So 1 plus 49 is 50. So it is 5, 0, 4, 1. All right. Let's take another number. Suppose we have 81. Now let's do it faster. Uh, in the end, 1 square will come, which is 1. In the middle, we have 8 into 2, which is 16. So 6 comes here. 1 goes to the next part, which is 8 square. That is 64 plus 1, 65. So it is 6, 5, 6, 1. Suppose we take the square of 91. How do we calculate it? For 1, we have 1 in the end. In the middle, we have 9 into 2, which is 18. So we get 8 here. 1 carry forward to square of 9, that is 81. 81 plus 1 carry forward, that is 82. So the answer of this question would be 8281. Let's go above 100. Just check a couple of numbers. Suppose we have to find square of 121. So for this, what we do is still we separate the last one from the number. So we have one part as 1 and the remaining part as 12. All right. So we take square of 1 as 1. Then 12 multiply by 2. Now 12 multiply by 2 is 24. So we have 4 here, 2 carry forward. And the first part will be 12 square. Now 12 square is 144. This 2 gets added to 144. So it becomes 146. So the final answer will be 14641. Let's take a couple of more examples of larger numbers. Suppose we have 151. So separate 1 from the number. In the end we have 1. In the middle we have 15 into 2 which
which is 30. So out of 30, 0 will come here. 3 will get added to the next part, which is square of 15. That is, now square of 15 you should remember. That is 2 to 5. Now 2 to 5 plus this 3. 0 is already there, right? So 2 to 5 plus 3 is 2 to 8. So the final answer of this one would be 2 to 8, 0, 1. Let's take a little bigger number. Suppose we have uh, uh, 251. I'm taking 251 because we usually remember square of 25 and that is 6 to 5. So for 1, we have 1. This 25 multiplied by 2, so it becomes 50. We have 0 here, 5 carry forward to the next part, which is square of 25, that is 6 to 5. 6 to 5 plus 5 is 6, 3, 0. So the answer of this question would be 6, 3, 0, 0, 1. So in this way, you can calculate squares of all the numbers from uh, 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 all the numbers ending in 1. So this was the method only for the numbers ending in 1. Those who have understood it, go ahead and calculate some squares of some other numbers. Otherwise, you can go back, pause the video or back, go back and check again. Check the method. I'll, I'll just summarize the method. Suppose there is a number which is which can be presented like this. Now I'll explain the theoretical aspect of it. Suppose there is a number like this, which has 1 in the end and x as the remaining part. How do you find the square of this number? Let's see. You separate 1 from the number, then create 3 parts in the number. Alright. The last part will be square of 1. So 1 square is always 1. The first part is the square of x, whatever is the value. And in the middle, you have other than 1, whatever is the number. So x is the number which is other than 1 in this. So x into 2. So 2x will come here. And then you have to be careful that this has to contribute only one digit in the final answer. This 2 has to contribute only one digit in the final answer. If there is any carry forward from here, this will go to the next part. So the final answer in this case, it will be x square plus any carry forward. So this is the theoretical aspect of this method. All right. If there is no carry forward, x remains as it is, as we have seen in the previous examples. Now, <clears throat> let's take a couple of more numbers. Suppose we have 101. How do we calculate square of 101? Now, 1 separated, so 1 is here. 10 into 2, it becomes 20. So, 0 here, 2 carry forward. 10 square is 100 plus 2. So, 102, 102, Let's take another one. 131. Suppose 1 square is 1, 13 into 2, so it is 26, 6 comes here, then 13 square is 169, 2 goes to 169 and gets added. So we have 17161. This is the final answer. So this is how we calculate the squares of numbers ending in 1.